everyone, Shark Kill here, bringing you guys my updated Salmon Great deck for our post Dark Neo Storm, as well as post April 2019 ban list. So, without further ado, let's get started. Kicking off, we are running three of Gazelle, pretty much your main card for this deck. If, um, basically, you can be normal or special summoned, or pretty much can be special summoned if a Salmon Great card is sent to the graveyard. And if this card is normal or a special summon, you can send one Salman Great card from the hand or, or actually the deck. Which, aka, um, speaking of the card right now, we have two spinnies, which I'm just going to call it. I could be wrong, but I'm running two because I don't really need to run three, but maybe they can actually go with three one day, but... Anyways, the spinny, basically your main play with Gazelle, you can just send it to the graveyard and it'll actually like come back and then so on and so forth. Then I'm running three of Foxy. It's kind of like a little bit of a um, Saruja a little bit. Basically when it's actually normal summon, you can draw three cards and then grab one and then shuffle like the others back into the deck and then of course you can be special summon and then pop one of your spells and traps and your opponents then I'm running one of Foxer one of Falco one Jack Jaguar and one Fowl I also decided to run one Meerkat because I keep on drawing it a lot and also has effects if it's actually draw, except for like normal draw, I can basically special summon it. And then I'm also going to be running the one mole because I actually want to do some little plays with Heat Leo because of his effect when it's actually Link Summoned using its, um, using its same name. Basically, you can actually target one of your monsters, one of your opponent's monsters and one of your um, monsters in the graveyard, aka... Um, Salmon Great Mole, you can actually change it to zero, so that's why I decided to um, run Mole. <laughs> then onto some of the non-Salmon Great Monsters, I'm running one Ladybug. Of course, she's at one because of the recent ban list. Pretty much like a little bit of a slap of the wrist to them, but it's not really that big of a deal because either pe uh, people are already like um, playing her at one or not playing it at all because they've actually been looking for other cards like playing Buffalo or the recently now released Sign Up Mining, which we'll actually get to very shortly. But Lady Debug is actually still um, a really good card. It's basically that searcher for your gazelle if you actually still want to play her. And then speaking of the devils, I am running two of Flame Buffalo. I was going to run it anyways in case of... Lady Debug does get hit to one, but Flame Buffalo is a really good card to play in your Salmon Great deck because basically what this card does is the face-up card, hold on, the face-up card leaves the field, you can discard one Cyber's monster, and if you do, draw two cards. So basically it's kind of like a pot of greed a little bit, but except you do have to like pay the price. And then I'm running... Three of uh, Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. I know this is actually a proxy because it's. I've been getting three copies. It's actually like 300 bucks because it's actually like a $100 card at the moment. And since it's, it's not getting reprinted in the um, Mega Tens, which they're actually skipping on, skipping on um, Savage Strike. But yeah. If you don't have Phantasm. If you actually don't have this card, don't worry about it. But I just actually decided to run it anyways. And then I'm running three of Ash Blossoms. Of course, he actually is an easy card to get because it actually came in with the structure deck back in February. Still a really great hand trap to use. And then I am running two of Effect Veilers. I think the best to actually go with three, but I don't have any room for another Effect Veiler. But if you actually do have room for another Effect Veiler, I think... It's um, a highly must, I guess, but Effect Veiler, really good card, just... And then for the spells, I'm running 
three Salmon Great Circles, pretty much your searcher for your Salmon Great cards. And then I am running the new three Sonic Minings. Of course, this is actually a proxy because I didn't even go out for the um the Dark Neo Storms because I'm actually saving up money, but I think Sonic Mining is like a $35, $40 card at the moment that I'm actually recording this. But anyways, Sign Up Mining is kind of like the, the replacement for Lady Debug since she's at 1. Basically, it's another searcher for your Salmon Greats. Basically, you can actually discard one card and then draw like a level 4 or lower Cybers monster. So, this could actually work for um, Pure Cybers as well. It'll actually go really good for Pure Cybers, but it'll actually do a lot better for your salmon grade so basically now they actually have more searches because of sign up mining one salmon great sanctuary obviously your field spell sp field spell for your reincarnation and then one will the salmon grades because i guess people are actually starting to run this card now so i decided to do the same and then Three call by the Greys because it's actually it's really good card to use for this deck. And then I got not much for traps. I got one Salmon Great Roar and one Salmon Great Rage. Really powerful cards. And then I got two Psalm Strikes. I think best is actually for three, but I don't have another Psalm Strike. And I just don't have another room for it, but Psalm Strike it's a really good card to run at 3 because you can basically like negate and destroy like the monsters. And then on to the extra deck. I am running two Heat Leos. I'm actually using two of the artworks. One just to like regular link summon and the other for the reincarnation. Summon great Heat Leo is actually a really good card because if it's actually link summon you can pretty much like pop one of your opponent's spell or trap back into the deck. And basically, if it's actually reincarnation, reincarnated, like I said with the mole, basically you can actually target like one of your opponent's monsters and one of your monsters in the graveyard, and have it um, their attack equal to the one in your monster's uh, graveyard. And then I'm running three of Balings, another really great card to use. It's that searcher for your. Salmon Great Sanctuary, aka your field spell with the reincarnation, and also if this is in your graveyard and your Salmon Great is being targeted for attack, you can basically banish this just to protect your Salmon Greats. Three Sunlight Wolves. I don't think it's actually really that expensive. I think the last time I actually saw it was actually like four dollars, but it's it's still a little bit pricey, but not as pricey as it was before. I think like it'll just cost you like a total of twelve dollars to get all three of these cards, which is kind of better. But Salmon Great Wolf is a must get. Two Mirage Stalios. I think best is to run one because I don't think. Anybody's actually running it at two anymore? Definitely not three, but um, maybe I can actually take one Mirage Stallio out someday, maybe as a replacement for um, Update Jammer, which I don't have in the deck because it's actually my Cyber deck. But anyways, Mirage Stallio, basically um, the monster, when you actually use it as a link material for a Salmon Great monster, you can basically bounce when you um, your boss monsters opponent, bo opponent's boss monsters, which is really good. And then on for some of the non Salmon Grids, I got one Trans Code Talker. I mean, effect wise, basically the best Code Talker. Basically, you can actually just um, bring back a uh, Link 3 or lower Cybers monster, or Link, yeah, Link 3, lower Cybers monster. One Nightmare Phoenix because not only is it actually a fire monster, but it's also a nightmare card that can just pretty much destroy one of your spell and traps, which that's what Salmon Greats do. One Flame Administrator, 
Um, I don't think anybody is actually running this anymore. I'm just running it just because, well, um, it just boosts up your Link Monster's attack to 800. One Boral Sword, I know that this is actually a proxy because the actual Boral Sword is, you know, insanely, like, pricey, but... I know a fact that we're actually getting a reprint of this soon, so yeah, and then last but not least, I'm actually one one Borlo Dragon. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my Summon Great deck profile. I actually hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys next time.